Which let me jump. Yippee! Alright. So, now, yes, that I'm able to go there right now, right? Uh, let's have a look. My hunting rifle back on. Resume to first view. This I know where is uh, the ranger compound now, so that's great. Um, and it's daytime. Awesome. The mutant that was, uh, you know, in there and was trying to um, get the jump on me for some reason. That I don't need. My head. Why does it ever stop hurting? Why? Please, I can hear it moving, pulsing. Just, just leave me alone. Where? Whoops. <laughs> At least I think that I'm um, getting closer to my goal. I think. I don't know if I'm right. Uh huh. Well, that's welcoming. Are these raiders or wastelanders or. Please tell me that this goes to Rivet City. If there is super mutants in there, yeah, uh, these these seems like uh, they are no. And for goals. Refrigerator. What do you have in that refrigerator of yours? In quite substantial. That's filing cabinet. Oh, all caps. Oh, see that? A steam patch, yay! Love me some steam patches. What else we have in store? For this? All these lotches are empty. I want to make sure that no one is going to get the jump on me for some reason. So, metro tickets. Why would I need the metro tickets for? Metro ticket. Well, railway spikes. Even if I don't have the, the necessary for that. Not too bad. War money, please. Don't know if even any thing here is going to be useful. Oh, and that? That's a bad pipe. Right. Okay. Into science still 60. Somehow, um, the all of my enemies so far seem to notice me even before I notice them. Which is crazy, right? Alright, but I'll have to fight. 
Not like I want to. Game makes it wants me to do it. What can I say? Game system. <laughs> Almost like a, a, a solo leveling uh, for any one of you connoisseurs of this uh, manga slash anime. Like the system wants me to kill people for some. Even though I still I'm still a peacekeeper, so uh, there's that. Not too, I'm not too bad on that front. Some barricades here, yeah. I think that uh, these barricades are made by the raiders that uh... okay. seems that I've arrived in <laughs> the waste at uh, the raid raiders. Um, camp. This shouldn't take long. Don't kill me. I won't kill you. Sorry. Unless you try to kill me. You want to get close, huh? <laughs> Baseball bat. My baseball bat, like seven, six, seven, three, seven, a uh, seventeen. Some steam packs. <laughs> uh, why? Why or why do I have to kill these people for no reason? This is this uh, this is just uncalled for. These people are trying to live their life, and I'm here killing them for. Is it either them or me? And it's rather be them than me, to be honest. At least I know that uh, they are controlling this uh, this area. So that means that uh, I won't. Um, no, bulls or what?
least I hope. Nearly hope so. Left out. That. Imagine red eggs. At least I hope I'm going the right way. Because I don't want to go into the metro. The underground. I like it. Uh, for nothing. Because if it's some way, it is for nothing. I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. I mean, it's just, uh, well, a way to explore some more, I suppose. But... Uh, I'm. I'm as limited. Fortunately. Try, try to. I mean, I know, I understand that they are trying to stay alive, and that. Just. Vigilism. And armed in by one. Another one of these books acquired. Which in Okay. Where am I? So I go there. Just have to be careful. That oh, that's all. Go sure that we are going to discover some more interesting things. Where am I right? Ow. Ow. What am I? Me having no words. Because, you know. Um. About my hunting rifle. An Acostia crossing. We're here, guys. Rivet City. I finally see it. <laughs> After such a long time. 
So proud. Uh, the Rivet City is a boat? I mean, yeah, a boat? That's crazy. Um, okay. <clears throat> What should I do? Now, what I have to do, make sure that I survive. Uh, yeah. Razor pistol. Oh. I have a laser rifle. A laser pistol. Different. All right. But yeah. Seems like, um... The military... Like your chariot or something? No? I'm guessing at this point.
Sure. So I tend to I know where Rivet City is now, so I have to see. First off. I have to say. Alright. And I have a price on my head. And price. Yeah, but uh someone put a tad on my head. Um this one thousand caps for my head. I don't know why I have to kill these guys. But it seems like I don't have a choice. Matter. Let me see. Um the objects that I have. He's combat shotgun. Okay. Come on. Use your munitions. On. Can do it. You go. That's uh I'm going to get purified water and um yeah change to my baseball bats. Oh yeah, um uh, I have um Tagged on my head, please. Or, Water. or uh, how should I say this? Yeah, basically we want my head, so I have to make oh, sure that someone new in the save myself. I need water, please. Fast and uh, quickly as I can, because if I don't, I'll uh, be in serious I, I can't trouble. Offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have, I can just have it for free. Yeah, um, I really, really seriously, I have oh God. Thank you. I thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Yeah, I've been calmer. Thank you very much. What I need, um, I'm going to push this button Welcome here. To Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. An aircraft. That is a uh, aircraft carrier. Oh, okay. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Um. Yes, I'm uh, looking for Doctor Lee. 
Yeah? Let me guess. No, she's not expecting you. But it's really important, and you need to see her right away. Been a lot of that going around lately, and I've had just about enough of it. So you're going to have to do better than that. Alright, well, uh, my father came to see her, and I'm trying to find him. Hmm. Older guy, in his 50s or so? I Darkness. remember him. He left already, but Dr. Lee might know more. All right, you can go on up. She'll be in the science lab. Just don't cause any trouble, or else you're going to answer to me. All right. Well, uh, thanks for the help. But, uh, first off... Um... Why did you, why did you all decide to leave on this uh, rusty old tub? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Well, I'm kind of lost, though. Can you help me? I suppose. Um, who's in charge around here? It doesn't work like that. I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee runs most of everything else. Bannon kind of represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. Potomac Attire. All right. Um, can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Stern end of the ship. Right. I suppose. I want to know... Why can I get medical, medical Dr. help? Dr. Yeah. Preston is in the upper deck, four section. That's the top interior floor in the southwest end. Right, okay, so you don't want me to help. I mean, you don't want me to help out much, yeah. Thanks for the help. Carry on then. I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna carry on. Everything looks okay. I'm on duty, make it quick. Like to report someone? Ooh. Wait. What? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, I understand about Dr. Lee. But I'd like to report... Uh, oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. All right. Whatever. Goodbye. Where, 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 where did I go? I just... Go to stairwell. Oh. Okay. Here it is. Wanna do some bug? Hey, girl. Tell us how. No problem. Uh. Hello? I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. Actualized from Kent Monica's. Wait, wait. Who is the saint this uh, Saint Monica? Saint Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about Saint Monica. Uh, all right. Is a church in Rivet City? I mean, oh yes, Father be. Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Right, who's the priest? Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. Okay. I'd like to make a donation to the church. I mean. Not close. Father Clifford takes the donations. You'll have to talk to him. 
Okay, Arthur Cliff Ward. That isn't there a odd that means that board? I know. Kind of reminds me of it. Oh. God bless you. I'm really low, low on health now. I just see it. Hello. All right. What you need? Go. Yes, sir. To try my best. Uh, so what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. And uh, what's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Do the men on this ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. <laughs> wow. Uh, so you and Diego are in love then? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Yeah. Uh. Men are such pigs. Get him. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry for all the men out there that are relocated to being just pigs. Because that's how things are. Um. Yeah. Get him. But yeah, unfortunately, you can't force a man's attention. Let's just say that uh, we are. Yeah, uh, we can be pretty dumb sometimes. <laughs> I mean, what should I say? Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. All right, with you go then. Later. Good luck. Yeah. Beer, and don't let it get empty. Brock, you hey, Brock. I'm Brock, the bouncer. I take care of the troublemakers. You are going to be a troublemaker, are you? Uh, no, sir. Just here to drink and talk. Let's keep it that way. Bell can mix almost anything as long as it's beer or whiskey. All right, All right. Thanks. Uh, who are you? you don't look so sister. Tough. Hey, sister. They call me sister. Don't ask. Okay. Mm, I don't ask. You won't tell. Fine. But yo, man, why do they call you sister? Are you making fun I shouldn't, of my I shouldn't name. at least ask. It's a damn good thing for you. This place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sister. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Ready? Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Um, uh, sure, here's five caps, go ahead and get your poison, I suppose. Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. Uh, I don't know, anyways, uh, I hate to do this, but I have to go. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. Yeah. No, like I'm going to stay here. But anyways, let's Good talk to, to her. Uh, hey, Belle. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. All right. Uh. Nice place you have here. You must be drunk. Are you going to order or what? 
Heard any good stories lately? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. All right, uh, Peter Bell. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Yeah, I'll uh, know when that's going to be. I'll. This shouldn't be luck picked, but this is going to smell trouble for me. Where's Vera? Oh, Vera, where are you? Oh, your sister, not Vera. Vera, boy, Vera, where are you? Vera, oh, Vera. <laughs> Something like the balloon search. <laughs> um. Yeah, what about our oh, doors? Um. Well, uh, doors to midship deck. Really cozy. Hey. Holy Antelli. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Uh, I don't even know how many psychos do I have. Uh, here, have some psycho. Thanks, man. I really need this fix. I've lost trauma. Uh, why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Got to run, Polly. Yeah, me too. All right. Ah! Oh, who can the evidence? Help me. I ah, yeah. I go back to my last save. Load. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Why don't you just take them from your shop? My wife, Cindy, she's always watching the inventory. If I take any, she'll lock me out. I've got to run, Polly. Yeah, me too. Didn't know that I was going to be to to to, to make a big mistake here. And she finds a lot. Oh, ready. Lee. I'm Gary. Gary Staley. If you ever get hungry, stop by Gary's Galley. All right. Um. How do I know your slop is even eligible? I'm getting a bit hungry. Perfect timing then. My galley is in the market at the far end. I'll save you some Meyer Lurk cakes. Okay. Um. Did you know that Holy Chantil is an addict? Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Uh huh, alright. Um, I heard your daughter has a crush on Zero. Yeah, I know. Thank God he's a priest. At least I know nothing's going on between them. Father Clifford would kick him out of the priesthood if he ever found out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, see ya. Yeah, see you. Is
Yeah, you can say, always say thank you, right? Angela? Yes, that's locked, and yes, oh, it's there, easy to watch them, but if I try this, they're going to chill me, so... Alrighty then. Yeah. James Hard Rock. What do you want? Where's your family? My mom is probably drunk and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Hey, no need to be rude. It was just. It was just. We're just trying to. Hey. To be broken terminal. I mean terminal inactive. Ted Strayer. Ted Strayer, you can chill with me if you want to. You actually uh, in here in Rivet City? You mean like fix stuff? Nah, I just hang out, dude. I've got enough chems to last a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see you later, Ted. Later, dude. <clears throat> well, they are a bunch. Oh. I'm on duty. Make it quick. I heard that uh, Rivet City is run by some sort of council. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Is uh, Polly really addicted to Chems? Oh yeah, he's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Right. Bye. Whatever. To go. Ooh. What's this? Rivet City. Oh, that's interesting. Although, it's you the people. Welcome to the Capital Preservation Society. All right. Honor Doctrine, its brother dress, institution of the USA. The Constitution of the United States was drafted in 1786 and adopted a year later by the Constitutional Convention of Philly. This document defines the organization of the government and sets forth the rules and regulations known as Article. In addition, there are modifications. To the articles by ruling presidents means no amendments. I society owns the only own happy government list which lived on the ruins of the National Archives in 2206. Emancipation Proclamation. The Emancipation Proclamation was not by the breathtakingly charismatic President Abraham Lincoln. This uh, executive order was the beginning of the slavery in the United States. Although it was issued during the Civil War, the Unit War of Measure, it paved the way for the 13th Amendment, completely abolished the slavery war. Though the Emancipation, the Emancipation Proclamation to pave the way for uh, the 13th Amendment, which was the end of which way it slavery come to an end. Oh no. The Gettysburg Address. Capital Preservation Society is proud to have in its possession a copy of one of the most iconic and prolific speeches in United States history. This speech 
given by the astonishingly intelligent Abraham Lincoln on Thursday, November 1903, laid the groundwork for what would later become of democracy in the United States and set the standards of the country, the government, by the people, for the people. Monroe Doctrine the Monroe Doctrine was presented in 1823 by the average and unremarkable President James Monroe. The Doctrine warns the European powers of the time not to interfere the affairs of the Western Hemis Hemisphere, yes, citing the examples of colonization and puppet government who intolerates it. U.S. Declaration of War on Germany Part of our collection is a copy of the formal declaration of war made on Germany during World War II on December 11, 1941, by the government and endorsed by the President Franklin, D Franklin Delano Roosevelt. While the document doesn't evoke brilliance of other masterworks like the Emancipation Proclamation, it still served as a reminder to the world that the United States wasn't the power to be trifled with. Uh, as for the U.S. declaration of war on China, although it is uncertain when the declaration of war on China was made, some say 2006 when it was Alaska, others say 2067, first power armor suits were deployed to counter their forces, it is the last known document of note authored by the United States government before the bombs fell. And the declaration of the had the tenacity in might of a stronger president behind it, say Abraham Lincoln, who is to say that what the outcome of those tremulous years would have been. Yeah, it seems like um they um revere uh Abraham Lincoln. President Abraham Lincoln. Interesting. Here, book somewhere. Monica. Okay. Interesting. Is there a dot somewhere? Word bench. You don't know how to make any weapons yet. Follow chap. Huh. That's for the uh, out. Uh, Abraham Washington. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Uh, yes, it's an interesting collection indeed. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. I, I am. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. It has to be the Declaration of Independence, right? Why, yes. Your knowledge of American history is quite impressive. What an amazing crown jewel in my collection that would be. The original document created by the people for the people. If you want me to retrieve the Declaration, all you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the society's collection here. I'd love to be a part of history and bring you the declaration. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. 
You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. Building independence. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No. I'm so dumb. I should have kept I should have kept um all of the um things related to Abraham Lincoln and uh things like that. Which is the other guy that I given that to is going to burn them. And he was going to keep them. Should have kept them in their place, to be honest. I'll go back. Alright. Oh? And have you come to any conclusions? Yeah, yeah. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. I mean, I know. Why, yes. Your knowledge of American history is quite impressive. What an amazing crown jewel in my collection that would be. The original document created by the people for the people. The point? Well, I was hoping you'd realize what I want. I want you to get the declaration for me. The declaration would tie this collection of documents together so well and give it the patriotic meaning it deserves. If you can find it for me, I'd be sure to make it worth your while. Go down there, Gramps. What th what's this road you're talking about? You'd secure your place in history. The man who rediscovered the Declaration of Independence. Imagine the fanfare. I suppose that's good enough for me. Marvelous. Then you've decided? Well, down, maybe in another time. A famous man once said that patience and perseverance have a magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish. I've waited this long. I suppose I can wait until someone else comes along to accept my offer. Go to Spine Slab. Dennis Kaplinski. Bones. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Botanist. What do you need? Um, I'm looking for my father. How do you I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. Right. Farewell. So long. Nice how. Anyhow. Sleep in there. Bye. You there. 
What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Um, what exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Sounds like uh, slavery to me. You don't wander off on purpose. Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic. Like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'm not sure how it is up north, but around here we get paid for our work. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Yeah, looking to find your android. Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Um, I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android zap? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Right. So, uh, any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. This android put it off. Why would you want a new face? Maybe, maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled, escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life, wipe away all memory, all guilt, trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. 
No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. So tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Why would Android feel guilt? Come on, Simmer, what aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know. If it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves. Fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Hey, okay. so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different, special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321? He is irreplaceable. All right, let's do it now. Of course you do. Hmm. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. Er. Hey there. Hey there. Um, I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? What do you know, what do you know about Sim? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here, though that's not saying much. Get a drink around here, prefer preferably somewhere clean. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Okay, I think I know. Yeah, see you. Ooh, hey. You found a, a old tech limited edition bubble head. Description of the base leads the smartest individuals to realize there's, there's always more to learn. Intelligence has been permanently increased by one. That's what I'd like to see. Um. Oh, wait. Since... What do you want? Oh, Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? You know who I am, how we met? 
You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. Um, tell me more about my parents. I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? It was my father like that then. James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. I never knew other what you tell me about her. Yes. Your mother was well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why... Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I understand. We did everything we could. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Thought about something. Okay. I'd like to know a bit more about you. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. What kind of place is this city? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society to make the world livable again. What do you know about Zim? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. This is this lab. What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Tell me about this project you worked on my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? What's the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what 
finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Thought about something else. Okay. I'm going to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. After that, we left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Please tell me where. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where's this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. have 78% speed. My most is 55 to go right now. Okay, well, thanks anyway. You understand, I have enough to worry about already. I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Yeah, um, lads and ladies around the world, uh, thank you all for today. Another yet Fallout 3 play session. Um, this was an amazing stream, as usual. Um, we made it to Rivet City for such a long time. Um, finally, so know some more whereabouts about my father. I mean, our father to a lab in the Jefferson Memorial building, so revive Project Purity it was a way for them to do some research to help clear the water of all impurities, whether it be radiation or mud or whatever and, or much, sorry <laughs> radiations or much and yeah, um Um, some talent, talent merch to head what else do you want with all a thousand chaps. I died. I don't, I, I can't tell you how many times I died, to be honest. Uh, just, just tap you that here right now. Go this time. Um, yeah. You know, this is, this is going to be a lot worse from here on out. I have so many quests. I don't even know what start with not that you I also have some DLCs I'll have to pack for a long run Bella and Zero here at the uh, engine daily I have a crush on Zero because he's a priest he's been resisting her I wonder if this is knowledge in Rivet City a missing android, the mirror who is currently at Rivet City, is searching for an android. It will use the android may have had facial reconstruction surgery and a memory wipe. And self-determination is not a mouth. Yeah. 
that, ladies and ladies around the world, all for me. Thank you all uh, for your support with these uh, Fallout 3 playthroughs and videos when they go up on you. Um, <laughs> in timely fashion. But yeah, the um, map is slowly but slowly getting up. Sure. A lot more landmarks have been acquired. A lot more deaths and deaths as well, but that did, I suppose. Uh, yeah. I guess that uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, guys.